Hey guys, it's your girl Christina. We have a smoking hot episode for you this week. A lot of cool stuff and some eye candy, as always. So sit back, relax, and put it in park. Because for the next 30 minutes, I control your ride. It's gonna be fast and loud, just like the whips from the boys here at Ace Electronics. So buckle up, it's street heaters time. It's time to burn. Guys, I'm here with Jordan from Audio One. Jordan, why don't you tell me a little bit about this ride? All right. I got an 88 Monte Carlo SS. I put a 24 inch players on there. I put a five inch lift on here. Got the purple paint with the uh, pearl in there. The violet pearl. I got the interior on its way being done. It's still in, uh, still in the mail probably. And uh, we just do it real big. We try to keep it real heavy. What's up guys, I'm here with Greg from Sia Customs. Let's hear about this ride. Uh, we got you a classic 72 Donk, sitting on them 24, sitting up real big. That's how we do it in the burger over on the west side. Got that custom candy paint dripping, wet, shiny, looking like someone just poured water on it. Got the HID headlight upgrade in it. Upgraded the motor a little bit, you need a little extra horsepower to roll them fours. But this is how we do it in the burger, big and shining, wet paint dripping. What's up guys? I'm here with Jessica Barton at Import Fusion 2007. Are you having fun today? Dude, I'm having a blast. You know what? I love car shows, car functions. I do them all the time. And here in Pittsburgh, the people are just awesome. Everyone's sweet. And the cars, they're off the hook. So I'm having a blast. It's a little hot, but I'm still having fun. Yeah. <laughs> it is so hot today, but it's definitely a lot of fun out here. Yeah, and if you guys want to, feel free to come check me out at jessicabarton.com. You can see more photos. You can contact me there so I can say hi to you. And um, other than that, I'm just hanging out here having a good time. Hi, my name is Maya Simone, and I'm here with Street Heaters. We're at the 2007 Nopi Nationals in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yo, maniacs, this is Hulk Hogan in my main squeeze of 23 years, Linda Hogan. We're here tonight, we're here today, we're here through the straddle of the week to hang out with our son, Nick Hogan. He qualified fifth at the Nopi event in Pittsburgh. We're here with Street Heaters. We're doing tandem tonight. My daughter, Brooke's coming down. We're gonna sing the national anthem, distract everybody so Nick will win the race. So what you gonna do when all the Hogans and Street Heaters run wild on you, brothers?
Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Peter. And this week's segment of 212 is brought to you by Fox Chapel Marine. Where boaters take care of boaters. Did you know that in PA, anybody operating a personal watercraft from the age of 13 to the age of 130 has to be licensed? You might think we're in a downtown apartment, relaxing in our cozy living room, but actually we're not. We're sitting inside a beautiful Silverton 38 convertible. All the amenities of home, with the room to stretch out and friends to stay over, this two bedroom, two bath design is built for comfort. Also for off-water performance. All these Silverton boats are built in New Jersey and tested out in the Atlantic Ocean. If it can take that, move over Allegheny. With the amenities of a trendy New York City apartment, this boat has full galley, granite countertops, refrigerator freezer, full-size Ford master suite with private entrance to the shower and head facilities to make everybody feel comfortable at home. And don't forget your family or friends with this adjoining double suite to make the nights and evenings comfortable. This is just one in a long line of Silvertons available through Fox Chapel Marine. The 38 convertible, we have sport yachts, we have motor yachts. Silverton starts at 33 feet and goes up to over 50 feet. We're here to fit the boat into your lifestyle and your budget. As you're driving your new Silverton from Mission Control and you can view everything around you, this beauty handles like a dream and cruises the rivers like nobody else. And the luxury of a New York City apartment, you can't go wrong. So please visit our website at foxchapelmarine.com for a complete inventory of all our Silvertons we have available. That's all the time we have for this week's 212 segment, brought to you by Fox Chapel Marine. I'm Peter. And I'm Tracy. And, and we'll, we'll see you next week. week. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly, and as you can see, we are surrounded by some of the most rare exotic speed demons in the world. Some of these cars you can't even put a price on, although if you could, they might be just a little bit out of my range. We're going to go over and talk to Michael. He's going to tell us about the Spiker C8 Spider. Let's not keep him waiting. Come on, let's go. What did I tell you? Is this car sexy or what? Hey guys, I gotta be a little bit honest. This car is stealing some of my thunder and I really don't like it. I'm used to being the center of attention. Oh well, I guess I can deal with it this once. We're gonna go over here and talk to Michael, the general manager. He's gonna tell us a little bit more about this hot bad boy. I do not see many cars like this around Pittsburgh. It looks like it's pretty exclusive. What can you tell me about that? Well, it's very exclusive. In fact, they only build about 60 a year, which is what they're trying to do um, this year. What can you tell me about the aviation influence on the design of this car? Uh, Spiker has a deep-rooted history in both racing and aviation. Uh, back in 1907, they won the first Peking to Paris, uh, which was a race from Peking, China to Paris. They also built airplanes, and you'll notice between the propeller and a lot of the uh, interior accents, there's a lot of aviation-type uh, pieces in there, being the switches, the toggle switches, uh, a lot of your gauges, uh, all the way down to even the way they stitch the leather has a lot of uh, connotations toward aviation. This car actually has the look, but how does it perform? Does it perform as well as it looks? Absolutely, Kelly. <laughs> it's a mid-engine car uh, with a 4.2 liter V8 engine. Now they build uh, three different engines for this car. A supercharged version, which would produce about 525 horsepower. The stock C8 engine has about 415 horsepower. And the new Leturbi that just came out this year is a 500 horsepower 12 cylinder. 
Wow, this car is slamming. Definitely a street heater. Thank you so much, Michael. Okay, thanks, Kelly. I'm here with Michael at the heart of downtown, and he's going to take us for a ride in this bad boy. What do you think? I'm ready if you are. I'm definitely ready. Let's go. Wow, that was an awesome ride. Thanks, Mike. I'm Elena, and we'll be right back with Street Heaters. You know some maniacs? This is Hulk Hogan, the greatest of all time. This is my main squeeze, Linda Hogan, and you're watching Street Heaters. So what you gonna do, brother, when the largest arms in the world, Linda Hogan with the biggest gimmicks in the world, and Street Heaters runs wild on you? What you gonna do, Street Heaters? I'm here to bring you this week's Extreme Style segment, brought to you by Extreme Car and Truck. Today we're going to talk about rims and tires. You guys carry a pretty wide selection of rims and tires here. Yeah, Kayla, we have wheels all the way from 15s all the way up to size 30. Um, not only does you, do you get the appearance, but you also get the performance of the wheels and tires. Um, in some cases, off-road use. In some cases, performance. So it just depends on what the customer is looking for, but we can match them up pretty well. Wow, that's really cool. So not only can you make your ride look good, but you have performance too. So I know that there's a huge selection of rims and tires to choose from. How would somebody go about picking out rims and tires for their car? Well, the e easiest way, Kayla, is to have somebody come into the showroom. Our wheel and tire experts here will get you matched up with the right wheel and the right tire for your vehicle. In most cases, we can have wheel and tire packages mounted and balanced and on your car the next day. That is so awesome. I might get some rims and tires for myself. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget to check us out each and every week on the Extreme Style segment. Make sure you visit our website at extremetruck.net. I'm Kayla, and I'll see you later. Mwah. Hi, we're here with Michael. What's the name of this car? This is a pretty sweet ride. This is a 1965 Ferrari 275 Speciale Competizione. Competizione, what? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a it's little competition in English. Tell me a little bit about this car. This is one of three made. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Uh, this is. It's got the nose of a 250 GTO, uh, the engine of a 275 GTB4 cam, and the rear end of a 275 GTB4 cam. But completely set up from rate for racing. It was a Ferrari factory team car. Uh, like I said, because of it being a Ferrari team car, they only built three of these. And so it's a very significant piece in Ferrari history, and the price tag reflects that. So you're telling me there's only three of these in the whole entire world? Three in the whole world, and possibly two that are, le that are known of. Wow, this car is smoking hot. If I were a thief, I'd probably have to, have to leave with this one. All right, let's take a look at another car. This car looks like a hot little number. Out of all the Porsches in here, why would you decide to showcase this one? This actually is one of the most significant race cars in history. And for Porsche, probably the most significant race car. Why is that? This car won Le, uh, Daytona in 1970, which was the first time Porsche ever won an overall endurance race. Now, in English, what that means is Porsche had never won a race overall. They won first in class, but never overall until the 917K. And this very car right here was driven by 
uh, Canoonan and Rodriguez won Daytona in 1970 and therefore makes it, it was a benchmark for Porsche. After that point from 1970 on, Porsche really dominated racing uh, all the way till about the early 1990s. And in fact, even uh, the FIA, which is uh, the racing circuits, uh, would put stringent uh, regulations on the Porsches because they were winning so much. And this car is the car that really started it all, this very car. So pretty much anybody that's a Porsche fan should be able to recognize this model here. That, that big number two on the side should definitely stand out and make people realize what they're looking at. And with the Gulf colors, it also has a lot of uh, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, it's close to home to Pittsburghers since Gulf Oil is a Pittsburgh company. So you have just one more car to show us, right Michael? I do. Alright, awesome. Let's go check it out. We're standing here in front of the AC Cobra. What about this model that makes it stand apart from other Cobras? Well, this Cobra is actually quite a bit different than any other Cobra Carroll Shelby ever made. This is one of two cars. Uh, he made one for himself and one for Bill Cosby. Uh, what made this car stand out is he put twin Paxton superchargers on the car, which kicked the horsepower up on a 427 engine to 820 horsepower. And then Carroll Shelby threw an automatic transmission in which came, which came by Lincoln. Automatic transmission, so I can actually drive this car. Yes, <laughs> even you could drive this car. Wow, that's impressive. But with 820 horsepower, I'd tell you to be very careful. This car is one of two built. Like I said, he built one for Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby's car, his wife didn't like the fact that he was driving an 820 horsepower Cobra. Women. And exactly. And uh, she made him sell it. The gentleman he sold it to actually uh, drove it off a cliff in California after he lost control. Both he and the car were lost. And so that makes this car the only one left. And the fact that this one was actually Carroll Shelby's personal car makes it just a little more significant. Wow, this car seems like it'd be really valuable with that kind of history. Yeah, probably the, one of the most valuable, actually the most valuable Shelby AC Cobra street car out there. And you'll notice that there's differences on the car with, uh, with a bul big bulge in the hood for the two superchargers and uh, that little automatic transmission in the center console being the only automatic transmission Cobra out in existence. Wow, I stopped listening after you said big bulge, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We've actually highlighted a few different cars here. Now we want to take a look at some of the other cars that we haven't seen yet. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Kristen. I'm here with my boy Ryan, shop manager at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh. How are you doing today, Ryan? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. Tell me a little bit about this whip behind us. It's a 1986 Monte Carlo. It has a full wear suspension. I have a custom paint job. Okay, I like these little pink flames you got going on here. What about this paint job? Uh, it has a uh, full triple tute and uh, pearl flames in it. Okay, I like this. I like the little pink flames going on. Tell me what's going on in your back seat. Uh, it has a uh, full custom air ride suspension, 10 switches. Uh, I have two tanks, uh, eight valves. Okay, now I hear some music playing. What do you got in the trunk? I have a whole, full custom uh, enclosure. It's all Power Base Extreme. Okay, well, thank you, Ryan, so much for your time. Thanks, and uh, for all the viewers, uh, stop into Ace Electronics. We'll uh, take care of any of your uh, audio or video needs. That's all the street heaters for now. We'll be right back. Welcome to this week's 60 Seconds with Scion, brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion. Let's check out this week's ride. Hey guys, this is DJ. This is how I hooked up my Scion XB. Up front, we got the DC Sports Strut Bar, Technology Hot Wires and Plugs. Motegi DP12, Concept 12, along with the Concept 1400 watt amp. This is the XB Release Series 4.0, number 231 of 2500 made. All right guys, that's how I hooked up my Scion. All right everyone, that's it for this week's 60 Seconds with Scion, brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion. Well, there's no doubt about it, you get it all. 
and North Hills Toyota Scion. Don't forget to check us out at scionofpittsburgh.com. I'm DJ and I'll see you guys next week. Was that a hot episode or what? I'm sweating. Well, it's time to cool down until next week. But don't worry, next Saturday at noon, right here on Fox Sports Net, we'll crank up the temperature again. So be sure not to miss it. And as always, you can check out this episode again during our re-airs weekly. Check your local listings for dates and times, or go to www.streetheaters.com for more info. And while you're there, send me some emails at gofastgirls at streetheaters.com. For all my girls and the crew here at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh, I'm Christina. See you next week. Sweet little girl.